remember in my last what sold video where I bragged about not listing anything for two weeks and still selling almost $1,600 worth of stuff? Well, I'm here to tell you. It caught up with me. These last two weeks weren't that great, but I had sales. I'm thankful for every sale I had. And without further ado, let's cue the intro and jump right into my what sold video. Hey guys, what's up? My name's Hope, I'm a full-time nurse and a part-time reseller. I save lives, I save clothes, I save all the things. Thumbs up for that. Okay, so... <laughs> okay, so these are my sales from December 2nd to December 16th. Are you ready? I'm ready. I feel really out of practice. I'm a filmed a video in what seems like forever since my last videos. <laughs> okay, so I will just pop a picture up on the screen like this over here so I can show you guys what sold. Uh, last time I my editing skills weren't up to par and I had some pictures that showed up looking like ornaments on my tree. Disclaimer, if you see me looking down on my video, it's because all my sales are wrote down on my handy dandy notebook. Okay, so on December 2nd, I had four sales. The first one were these M shoes. It's like a no-name brand, black fringe studded moon boots in size eight. I got these from the bins. When I got home and looked them up, they were not that great. I listed them for 18. I accepted an offer of 12. Happy to see them go. I've had them listed for what seems like forever. Second sale was this genuine leather brass arrow buckle Southwest belt. I got that at the bins in a recent haul. It was a really cool belt. I listed it for 18 and accepted an $11 offer. Low sale, low dollar sales these days. Uh, the third thing is this Target Floppy Straw Beach Hat. Got this from the bins. I, why? I don't know. It's from Target, so it didn't retail for a lot. I listed it for eight. I accepted a $5 offer. It's the middle of December and someone wanted a beach hat. So, uh, yeah, $5 on that. Would I pick those up again? No, sure, sure wouldn't. Okay, and the fourth thing on the second was this fossil black leather braided handle uh, strap handbag. So like the handbag part of it was like a braided leather. I listed it, I got that at the bins. I listed it for 20 and it sold for 20. So I pick up fossil, but I that sat for a long time. So I don't know. Okay, on the third and the fourth, I had no sales. And this is where I was like, Insert foot into map, Hope. Insert it. Because I made that other video because I had such great sales and I hadn't listed anything. And the algorithm caught me and it bit me. All right, so yeah, no sales on the third and the fourth. And then on the fifth, I had three sales, two sales. Yeah, three sales, three sales, sorry. Um, I sold these Bionic Blue Platform, Platform, Platform slide on comfort sandals. They were mine, so no cost there. I listed them for $35 and they sold for 28, an offer of 28. Um, the second thing that I sold on the fifth was this vintage Victoria needlework denim Bermuda hand purse. It was really cute. It was like denim and had like these buttons and it was reversible but the inside of it was really stained and I noted that in the listing, of course, but like the handles were wood. So cute. Um, I listed that for, I got that at the bins. I listed it for 25, sold for 17. When I say I got stuff at the bins, um, just know it's $1.29 per pound and none of these things cost a pound a piece. 
they were all less than that. So less than a dollar on anything that I say is from the bins. Okay, and then the third sale was a four piece bundle. It was this new tag H by Bordeaux crimson basic long sleeve tee in a size large. That was in a mystery box. I cannot remember who I got that mystery box from, but it was a Poshmark mystery box. Um, then these express high rise chambray, chambray, chambray trousers, um, like paper bag style. I just got these at the bins in a recent haul. They were a size 12. And then this new tag Bobo, nope, Bobo. <laughs> this new tag Bobo navy oversized blouse. It had like a faux panel in the front. It was like slouchy. Uh, it was size large, new tags. That also came in that same mystery box. I feel like that mystery box was from Denali, but I can't, I really can't remember. I need to keep better track of where I get the things and how much I pay. It's one of my goals for 2021. And then the last thing in the four piece bundle was this Ann Taylor Loft linen tee. It was just a basic 100% linen tee in a size large. And I also got that at the bins in a recent haul. Um, she offered me $59 for the bundle. I accepted. Moving along, December 6th, I had zero sales. On the 7th, I had one sale and it was this J. Crew funnel neck Snowden wool coat sweater, like wool sweater coat. And Snowden was the style, like the style name. I got this at the bins, like, I'd say probably a year ago. And I debated on listing it because one of the pockets was completely unsewn. Like you couldn't tell unless you put your hand in the pocket like that it was unsewn from the coat. But I didn't want to fix it because it was such a chunky knit that I wasn't sure I could. And I decided to anyways. These, this jacket is super rare and like sought after. The sold comps on these were over $100. And it's from back in like 2014 or 15 I want to say. Super rare find. So I did list it at 100, but I uh, accepted an offer of 55. And it did have that flaw, so come through, J. Crew. On December 8th, I had two sales. The first one was this NHL holiday themed women's jersey. It was like, had like snowflakes at the bottom, but um, it was by Reebok. I listed that for 18. I sold it for 12. I can't remember where I got it. Probably the bins. Maybe Goodwill on a half tag. Not sure. I really suck at this. So. <laughs> um, but I listed it for 18 and I took a $12 offer. I was just ready to get it out before the holidays. And then the next thing I sold on the 8th was a four-piece men's bundle. This was a direct sale to a viewer. Um, so thank you if you're watching. She DM'd me on Instagram after watching my last men's haul, which I'll link up here. Um, that haul video if you want to watch it and um, was interested in some men's pieces and she knows that I don't like to list men's even though I'm, I'm planning on opening a men's closet. That is, the, that is the plan. So she was interested in getting some stuff for her um, boyfriend. So she got this Under Armour polo shirt in a size large and then this Under Armour compression shirt in a size large. It was like long sleeve compression shirt and a Nike golf tee and an L.L. Bean quarter zip sweater. It was gray, super nice. And all of those were from a recent Ben's haul and I sold them for $60 shipped and the shipping on those four pieces was $10. But no Poshmark fees came out of that. So love direct sales. On December 9th, I had one sale. It was this new tag Madewell Whisper Raglan Stripe Tee and extra small. Pretty sure I picked this up at the bins and I didn't even realize it was new with tags until I got it home because the tags were like inside the shirt and not on the tag. Listed it for 19, it sold outright for 19. On December 10th, I had two sales. Um, the first one was this Anthropology Holding Horses red denim skirt in a size 28. Super cute skirt. I got that at Clothes Mentor for $5, around that $5 mark. I listed it for 35 and accepted a $28 offer. Second thing was this new tag theory Narita Suave. 
<laughs> Narita Suave Linen Pocket Dress. It was like a white linen sleeveless dress with pockets in a size 10. This was in my last Goodwill haul when I said you really just need one piece to, to um, pay for your haul. I listed this for 75 and I accepted a $50 offer the next day. So theory doesn't always move, but it was new with tags. It was a good size and the comps on this exact dress were in that $50 range. But since mine was new with tag, I put it for 75, still sold for 50, but I'm not mad about it. Okay, on December 11th, I had two sales. The first one were these Solomon Men's Climate Pro 10,000 Fantasy Ski Pants in a size small. These were in my death pile from a Ben's haul, I don't know, a couple months back. I didn't want to list Ben's, but I was working through my death pile. I filmed it and everything, and I never uploaded that video because I never finished working on my death pile. ADHD, it's a real thing. Um, but I wrote down, I told myself, okay, you're gonna list all your cold gear, whether it's men's, women's, I don't care, cold gear. Um, seasonal stuff like hats, gloves, scarves, all of that. You're going to list it all. And I did. I, I stuck to it. So it was in my death pile. I was so happy to just get the rest of that winter stuff up. Oh gosh, here we go. I listed them for 50. They sold overnight for $50. What was I waiting on? I don't know, but I was happy. So happy. Second thing on the 11th was this vintage Oshkosh Bagos. Vintage Oshkosh Bagosh Best Back Floral Bib Romper. Um, I got that at the bins. I listed for 25. It sold for 18. Now I know that these could do really good. This one was not one of the ones that had sold for a lot on eBay. I have two from my last Goodwill haul that I think will do really well if I put them on eBay. But we're not there yet. We're not there yet. I haven't listed them. I need to like research whether I should do an auction or I buy it now. So anyways, uh, on December 12th, I had five sales. Uh, the first one was this Athleta Chill Factor sweater coat in a size small. Um, I got it at the bins or at Goodwill. Either way, it was heavy. So at the bins, I probably, it was probably a couple pounds. So in between two and four dollars and 49 cents, I'm assuming. I listed it for 60, it sold for 40. The next thing was this rough hewn plaid hooded flannel sweatshirt in a size medium. This was so cute. I knew it would sell. I listed it for 25. It sold for 17. I think I got it at Goodwill for 4.49. Maybe it was a half tag. I literally can't remember. Um, but yeah, somewhere in that four dollars or under range. Yeah, sold for 17. Then I sold this vintage Nanette Lepore poppy silk floral pearl snap blouse in a size eight. I got that on my during my Boston trip with uh, when I went and seen Lori. Uh, our cost of goods for that trip was around six dollars. I listed it for thirty five. It sold for twenty four. Not the best return, but any return is better than none. Uh, next was this is sad. You know, sad song violin. Madewell V-neck Dusty Rose Graduate Cardigan in an extra, extra small. I got this at the bins. I listed it. I took pictures. I listed it. It was, you know, that really thin cardigan material. When I took pictures, I noticed nothing. Listed it for 20 just because I, you know, had some wear. It sold for 20 and then, as I was folding it up, like I thought that there was like puckering on the sleeve. And so I looked and I put my hand in it. No, hole, 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 three holes down the seam. I was like, oh my gosh. So I had to cancel that sale. So it's not included in this, um, in my totals, but I had to tell you. <laughs> womp, womp. Then the next thing I sold was this Tucker and Tate Girls like bigger girl, size 14, 16, boho Aztec Sherpa coat. Tucker and Tate, I believe is like a Nordstrom or Macy's brand uh, for kids. I got this at Goodwill for $3.99. I listed it for 28 and it sold for 21. On December 13th, I had six sales. 
starting with a two-piece bundle of these Old Navy Rockstar jeggings. I got at the bins. They were size 18. And this new tag Old Navy pink long duster cardigan in a size extra large tall. I, the, both of these came from the bins in like a, I don't know, a bin strip a couple months ago. Um, so she sent me an offer for 30 and I accepted. Probably could have got more because I tend to do okay with my Old Navy stuff. Um, but I'm not greedy. I, I paid two bucks for them, so. Okay, on the, continuing on the 13th, the second thing I sold was this Marmot Ultra Soft Pullover Hoodie in a size small, women's, um, I, my dogs. I believe I got this at the bins. I listed it for 35, I sold it for 25. Uh, the third thing that I sold was this Cabby Gray Zip Up Hooded One Piece Play Suit. Uh, it was super cozy. I This was in my very, like, the most recent haul, Goodwill haul I've done. I knew this would sell because it's, like, loungewear, but it's, like, an outfit. It's a one-piece. It was it had joggers. It had a hood. It was super soft. Uh, perfect for, like, lounging around the house right now. And even in that video, I was like, I've got to get this listed. I know it'll do good. I looked up comps. Comps look like 40 to 50. Listed for 50. Sold it for 38. But, like literally in a day so I was okay with 38. Fourth thing that sold was this two-piece anthropology bundle. Both items were from the brand Sparrow. Uh, the first one was the Sparrow Bold Striped Wool Blend Midi Skirt in an extra small. Super, super, super cute skirt. So the second one was this Sparrow Cordial Embrace Merino Wool Dress. Um, I got the Sparrow skirt at Goodwill for $4-ish, and then the dress was a thread-up haul I did, like, you know, I sourcing from thread-up. My cost of goods for that haul was like $6, I believe. I made, I did a video on it, and she sent me an offer for $52 for both pieces, and I accepted. The fifth thing was this Rag & Bone Cream Silk Mesh Panel Tank in an extra small. I got this in a thread-up rescue box. Um, cost of goods was under $3. I listed for $35 and it sold for $21. The sixth sale was this Chico's Platinum Denim Gold Metallic Utility Jacket in a extra large, like that's the size it converted to. I think that's like a three or four. I don't know. I listed the size chart for Chico's in the listing. Um, this came in my 100 pound horrific rescue box where the cost of goods was around $2. Uh, listed for 25 accepted an offer of 18 on December 14th I had one sale and it was this Vera Bradley quilted navy backpack sold so fast I got this at the bins it was in my last haul I feel like a broken record saying that over and over um, I listed it for 40 she said what's the lowest you'll take I said 28 and so 28 is what I took but super super quick December 15th, I had one sale. It was the Simply Noel Nordic boot socks with palms on them. Uh, this came in my rescue box from ThreadUp. Cost of goods was under $2. I listed them for $15. They sold outright for $15. Someone just came and bought them some cozy boot socks. Okay, on December 16th, I had six sales. The first one was this and Taylor Loft Waffle Knit Teal Sweater in a size medium. Oh my gosh, I've had this forever. Forever. I listed it for 20. It's been relisted what seems like a million times. Um, I got a $12 offer. I counted at 15 and thank goodness she took it. Happy to see that go. I got it at the bins a long time ago. <laughs> Uh, next thing was this Top Shop Marl Soft Pink Knit Lounge Joggers in a size US 6. I got these at the bins in a, a few hauls ago. I listed them for 18. They sold outright for 18. The next thing uh, on the 16th were these Express Columnist Black and White Striped Cropped Pants US size 2. I got these at Goodwill for half off of $4.49, so around $2.25. I listed them for 25 and they sold outright for, you guessed it, 25. 
Next was this UGG cable knit brimmed beanie. It was in my death pile, the one that I've been working so hard on, listing all those winter items. Um, I got it at the bins a long time ago. Had some makeup staining in the in the inside. Uh, I washed it on the wool cycle and most of it came out, but I just noted that there was still a little bit of discoloration in there. I listed it for 25 because this hat retailed for 60 and a lot of them are listed for 40. Um, so due to the, you know, the makeup stain, I listed it for 25 and I got an offer right away of 15 and I was like, sure, Merry Christmas. <laughs> uh, next thing on the 16th was this unique low burgundy 100% cashmere v-neck sweater. I got this at the bins recently. I don't remember which trip, maybe this most recent one, but I pick up Uniqlo, you guys. I listed this for 35. It sold outright for 35. I hear a lot of people say they don't grab it, which teach their own. I mean, do what you want. I don't care. I do what I want. I don't pay attention to what anyone else does because we're all our own unique individuals running our own unique individual businesses. And I'll sell things from $5 all the way to however many dollars. Doesn't matter to me. I'm just a part-time Poshmark seller. <laughs> this isn't my full-time job. But, um, every time I pick up Uniqlo, it sells at usually $25 to $35 in that range. And like, that's exactly what it retails for. So I don't know if it's just like hard to get or I, I don't know, but it sells. And I listed it for $35. Someone swooped it up for $35. So go Uniqlo, go Uniqlo. Okay. And then the last thing on the 16th were these Stuart Weitzman Crocodile Slingback Mules in a size seven and a half. Got these at Goodwill for $4. That's what our shoes cost, like four or five. Um, listed them for 50. Someone came in, made my day, bought them for 50. So yeah, I had a total of 34 sales, which resulted in 42 items. Uh, my average sales price was $27.97. Uh, my average sales price per item, if you do it by item instead of sale, because uh, I had 42 items, is $22.64, which is a little bit lower than I want to be, but like I said, I'm pretty easy. <laughs> um, yeah, but like I said, that's okay. No big deal. It, it does this a lot, you know, up and down, up and down. So I had a total of $951 in sales over the past two weeks. $891 on Poshmark, 60 in direct after Poshmark took their, I didn't even do the math. 20% of Poshmark will be 178.20. And then the $10 shipping that I paid for the direct and my cost of goods around 65 to 75. I will put my grand total of how much I put in my bank account right here on the screen because I forgot to do the rest of the math. And again, with the ADHD. <laughs> so that is it for my sales for the past two weeks. You guys really liked my last, my first, my very first what sold video. I did stick my foot in my mouth by saying, I made all this money and I didn't do any work. <laughs> Cause this week, what these past two weeks were definitely not as good, but it's okay. No big deal. I am going to do these videos every two weeks. There probably won't be one in two weeks because I'm kind of like simmering down. Now watch me sell a whole bunch of stuff, but I'm, I thought about putting my closet on vacation mode because of the whole shipping situation and packages just being, they're, they're so backed up and I'm just like, and I'm busy the next couple weeks with the holidays and work, my work holiday work schedule. So I'm not sure, but I, once the new year comes, I do plan to do every two week what sold videos because they seem to do really good and you guys like them. And yeah, I think it's interesting to know what, you know, I'm picking up here at Indiana, <laughs> usually from the bins, and what is selling for me on Poshmark, because that is where I sell, Poshmark. I don't sell anywhere else as of right now. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe to my channel because I realized that like 48% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed. And if you subscribed, I would have way more subscribers than I do. But I'm thankful for each and every one that I do have. This year has been insane.
for my YouTube channel and I'm so thankful. So anyways, hit the thumbs up if you like what souls and you're excited for me to continue doing more. Subscribe before you leave. I love ya. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. I'll see ya in my next one. Bye.